Good morning. In the emergency of incoming armies, Zedekiah turns to the Lord, sort of. Isn't sort of good enough? Our reading today is Jeremiah chapter 21, verses 1 and 2. We're following the chronology, and that takes us back now to chapter 21. Here are what those two verses tell us. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord when King Zedekiah sent to him Pashur, the son of Malchiah, and Zephaniah, the son of Maasiah, the priest, saying, Please inquire of the Lord for us, for Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, makes war against us. Perhaps the Lord will deal with us according to all his wonderful works that the king may go away from us. Now, for long years, the leadership of the kingdom of Judah has been pretty much indifferent to all of God's calls to them to repent through Jeremiah and through the other prophets he's been using. But now a message comes from King Zedekiah to Jeremiah. Please inquire with the Lord for us, he says. Now remember, the reason the Babylonian armies are in the land is because of the spiritual de declination and the uh, indifference of the kingdom of Judah, the indifference of their leaders, their uh, failure to respond to God's previous calls, so many of them from Jeremiah. The Babylonian armies are in the land because of this apostasy and indifference. That's why they're there. So God is permitting this incursion to come. He's, he's permitting it quite intentionally. He's, he's letting that be an event to chastise his people. Maybe they'll wake up spiritually. He wants to help them turn back to him in repentance. And now in the heat of this current emergency, interest in God's part sort of has, has suddenly strangely increased. And we can understand that. We've, we've done the same thing. There have been times, I'm sure, in your life and in mine, I know, times when we should have been carefully following the Lord, but we were not so closely following him. And when the time of great emergency came, we suddenly were much more interested. There have been times like that, and that's a time that King Zedekiah is having right now. We've ignored God for long periods, and suddenly in the time of emergency, we became very interested in him. And I know we wouldn't want to admit it, but this usually does indicate a shallowness, a lack of spiritual depth. It indicates a lack of authenticity in our spiritual experience. God wants to water and strengthen all of our positive responses toward him. So we know he wants to do the same with King Zedekiah. But if we don't come into a deeper relationship with him, uh, these kind of responses from God would really be kind of futile. We've got to come close. It's got to be real. It's got to be serious. And so we know that's what God really wants. And we know that's what King Zedekiah really needs. So now in tomorrow morning's devotional, we'll, we'll carry on with this and we'll see what the response is. But just now, we can sympathize both with Zedekiah and with God. The goal is to get right in the long term and not just to have a temporary relief from present fears because of this current emergency. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, help us to pray to you uh, and ask that you would give us what we need, not necessarily what we want. Many times what we need is much different from what we want. I think King Zedekiah has things he wants, but what he needs, he's got to be open to you to give you all that you need to give him for that. So, so Lord, help us to be right with you as well. Help us to be ready to receive from you what we need, not necessarily what we want. Please, Lord, be our helper this day, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So actually, we're going to wait till tomorrow to find out whether uh, sort of is better than nothing. But we know this. Real repentance comes with a willingness to, to fully follow the Lord Jesus Christ. And so far, this has not been a feature that King Zedekiah has been known for. May you and I be known for it today as we serve him in this world.